Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. As you can see, I got a bag laying around on my couch. Now you might be wondering, why did I click this? Is this my life? Why do I have to watch a guy showing us his work bag? And you'll be right. But, before you go away, you may want to see what is inside that bag because it might surprise you. So, without further ado, Let's go and open it up. And inside, we've got a Dell Latitude C600 from the year 2001. We will be the subject of this video today. It, that is a gnarly ass laptop, so it expected to be very good at what it was designed to be. And now, let's open the bag and see the accessories it came in. So, we've got a CD-ROM module. No DVD-ROM, sorry guys. Let's put it back here. The power brick itself. And the adapter from the power brick socket to a neuro plug. Yes, that's right, I live in Europe. So, with the accessories out of the way, let's come back with the overview of the laptop. I'll be right back. So, I got the latitude on my desk right now, so we can begin the overview starting with the front of the computer. We have a battery which is dead, a latch, which can push in to release the, hold on, this is tricky, which can release the display, we'll get to it later, and the modular seabay, which currently has the floppy drive, but you can take the floppy out, you can also get a glimpse of the inside, and replace it with the CD drive. Intercom is ringing. Let's put the floppy back. Taking a look at the right of the computer, we got a speaker, infrared port, LEDs, headphone jack, microphone jack, modem, Ethernet, S video, and click band for the processor. This, by the way, has a Pentium 3. Here we have a fan vent, which is for the fan on the underside of the case. Serial, parallel, docking base, another fan I think. PS2 mouse keyboard port, USB 1.1 port, VGA power port. On this side we have the PC MCI slots with slot blanks which come out. drive which is removable, Kensington slot and speaker. On the bottom we have the hard drive tray, rubber feet all over, the exit door for the RAM and card, a bunch of accreditations, Windows 2000 product key, I'm cutting that one, and the Dell sticker for it and the fan we talked about earlier now time to open the display as you can see it has a standard scissor switch keyboard which is typical for laptops but you can see it has seven rows like an IBM ThinkPad it also has a track point, which is also a trademark feature of the three. The ThinkPad, the Toshiba Cell Line laptops, and Dell Latitude Series. On the bottom we have a nice touchpad with two clicky buttons and also we have the track point buttons here. As you can see we have a nice big display. I think it is 12 inches at 1024 by 768 resolution. 
And now for the most important part. Let's boot it up. It actually works. So let's see what it does. So where is it to hook up the ladder dude? But oh look, no power outlets. So we have to switch to the one beside my bed. So let's do that right now. So I got the socket out. So let's begin by plugging in the low portion of it. And taking the other clover leaf portion and putting it in the power blade, break the light turns green. So yeah, green, the color of champions. So let's put this in down there. Move the camera back to the latitude. Plug them in, and now time for the boot fiesta. So let's turn it on. Look, it's a Dell Latitude C600 Wireless Division A06, around 2000. And oh look, you might guess which operating system it is booting right now. That's right, Windows 2000 Professional. Built on NT technology. Copyright 1999. This also takes a long time to put around one and a half minutes. Let me get some more. Alright, that's much better. So, if we got a floppy drive on a, any computer, what do we need? Floppy disks. Oh, that's not. Good. Let's put them here. We'll need them shortly. Let's go on that damn sexy Windows 2000 logo. Copy drive something, you did something, it does every time. Ooh, flicker. So, let me input my password here. As you can see, it booted up in Windows 2000 with the Blue 16 background, we all know and love. We can move the pointer, yay! Oh, and this also has a TFT screen. And there are our applications I installed on this. And I made some retrofitting to, to design. Made it so it was ready to show off its full horsepower. And you may say, what about specs? I will show them to you right now. But first, let's do the Windows overview. So, we've got the random mod assortment of programs. God, this is slow. God. Oh, there we go. We well, got a random assortment of software, including the accessories, which has one little nose and loves. In the accessibility, we have mm, 
narrator. Gotta love that classic Microsoft Sam voice. Communication, cyber terminal, internet connection, wizard, net meeting, blah blah blah. Before all, they were all acting in the XP. Entertainment, CD player, sound recorder, Windows Media Player, games, free sale, Minesweeper, people, sorry. Yeah, the system tools, stuff that you don't want to mess with if you're a novice user. Backup, disk cleanup, disk defragmenter, system information. And also, we got our lovable application. Whoa! So, back to where we were. Calculator, command prompt, no bad pain, synchronization, administrative tools. I put this here so I have access to tools and I use like performance services to kill some to kill some applications that I don't really need. Acrobat Reader. I tried to install AMC1 here, but it didn't work because the rag tags and stuff like that. That's Windows 2000. Nero, Burning Ground, Cover Designer, the full suite. You got here Demon Tools, this right, some random oddball game I used to play when I was a little kid. Eudora, yeah, you gotta love Eudora. Oh, I see Q2. Image Burn, Earth on View, and a lot of Maxis games, including CCD 2000, 3000, 4, Simcopter, and Sim Health. Age of Empires, including the expansion, IntelliPoint, the Microsoft Office tool, yes, this has Microsoft Office 2000 on it, Microsoft France, and Carter 98, I mean, GW Developer Studio, My Felix, which is great, Northern Petition Magic, Notepad Plus Plus, Buddy, The Ultimate Doom, Total Commander, Visio, Professional Technical, Winamp, WinCD, which doesn't work, WinImage, WinRAR, yeah, and Yahoo Messenger. Pretty classic stuff. Now, documents, oh, that's uh, And in the control panel, I have something that I want to show you. This is all boring stuff like accessibility, display, mouse, keyboard, and stuff, and regional options, system, and oh, look what's here. Tweak UI. Yes, this has Tweak UI for Windows 2000. The other connection, direct connection, there's the infrared port. No printers except for the fax, that is used by the fax mode. Now also got other applications like BigTorrent or online as well. So now. Oh, I also got Turbo Pascal and more stuff on floppies. So now let's go to System Information so we can see everything we want about this computer. So this runs Windows 2000 Professional 5.0 put on 9.1 Service Pack 4. It's actually Service Pack 5 because they have some unofficial service packs installed. OS9 Factor Microsoft Corporation, of course. Local computer Corporation, let do C600 X86 which means Pentium free 850 megahertz. The BIOS, you can see my time zone, 512 megabytes of RAM, virtual memory and stuff like that. Now let's go into the device manager for a more in-depth look at this. Oh, ooh, ooh, let's uninstall this, I don't like stuff like that, which can't install. As memories, yes, battery, Microsoft AC adapter, the two battery base, ACPI PC, the ABN Travel Star 20 gigabytes, which is in there, display adapter, ZTI Mobility M3, this has I think 8 megabytes of RAM, 
the virtual CD drives, floppy disk controllers. Of course, there's a controller because there's a floppy drive. ID controller, infrared, that infrared board over there, the standard keyboard, PS2 point devices, the modem in there, four monitors, which is total. Oh, no, wait, that's correct. Because we got the internal display, yes, video jack, the VGA, and I don't know, fucking. Network adapters, we've got the mini PCI Ethernet adapter, which is actually under the keyboard. The PC and CIA controllers, comp board, ECP printer board, the right controllers for the virtual, and we got an ESS Maestro here. I heard that the ESS Maestro is a oh, ACPI lead, that always cracked me up. So, yeah, DSS Maestro is said to be one of the best laptop sound cards or modules or onboard audio, whatever we want to call them, because it has wavetable FM synthesis and MIDI. So it runs great, and the applications would sound like you remember them. Like the C610, which is its cousin, and which it had, which has a crystal onboard audio module that doesn't sound as normal. I wish I could show you more of this software on this computer, but we're gonna close somewhere. We're approaching around 16-17 minutes. And while I wait and in that, it will be a lot more. And I want, really want to make a part two, because this computer is a very interesting specimen, and it needs further examination. So now, let's wait for Windows 2000 to turn off the computer and say goodbye and thank you for very much for watching